life. It's just God working and doing things in your life. And that's when you caught up on it. Because like, I don't know what to do. Things are moving too fast. Let the wicked forsake his way. And God starts there. And you call upon me. Those of you who are wicked, quit being wicked. Which implies that we know what wickedness is. Mm -hmm. But he starts with sin. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Not his deeds. Let the unrighteous man for think, forsake what he thinks. Did the thoughts ever take you out? Yes. No, nobody, nobody here. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. What a way to go to court. Yeah. Going to court, wrong is two left shoes, and it says he will have mercy upon him. How do you plead guilty? Okay, I'm going to give you mercy. Would you? What's that word? You know how the court is expressing? Fair to appear? <laughs> Would you fair to appear if somebody who is left my mercy? Go to the judge's court, the reference court right here, and I'll tell kind of case you got how bad it is and so so forth. Just give them the papers, they'll stamp and say, okay, next. Yeah, when you go, I'm going to learn one. Great news. Yes. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon you. Some of us have lived whereby, whereby we need abundant pardons. Yes. Amen. If you live for a pardon or two, that's pretty cool. But if you live or recognize the sin you have always been alive, you realize that I have been the recipient and the need of pardons. Yes. Of the yang yang. Yes. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> then God introduced to the sinner what to do and how I'm going to do. Then he says, now, you, you, you called upon me, you sought me, you've been found, you've forsaken your ways, and you're going to have mercy now. Now here's the next deal. Then you sign the, the paper. All my ways and my sin. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here's my, here's my manifesto for my thoughts and not your thoughts. God starts there. That's the first meeting they have. Tell everybody know me. My thoughts aren't yours. Which is saying, my thoughts aren't anything like yours. How do you know that? Because he made you. He knows your thoughts. He knows the limitations of your thoughts. He put the program in you. So he's going to just tell you now, he, 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 a long past program, he put that human program in there, that trust thing and everything. He says, so let's understand something. First of all, my thoughts aren't your thoughts. I don't think the same way you think about it at all. I mean, not in your moment, connect. And some things he said, I don't even think about it. Well, Lord, I'm, I'm thinking about it. At least that's why I'm not. So I'm going past that. What you're thinking about, I already done that. That's right. Neither are your ways where you want to go, my ways. This is the first meeting up front. Understand? You think different? And where you want to go, I don't go that way. I'll never, ever pick a path you know. Never. I'll never pick a path you're familiar with. Never. It'll be your first time. If I'm leading you, and I decide as a pillar of fire to leave the tabernacle at midnight and say, let's roll, I expect you to move with me at my speed. And that's the bad say he's going too fast. Or say, Lord, we can't keep up. That's when we complaining. You come upon that trust him that he knows the speed to go at, and I will be safe going at that speed with him. Because he picked it. This, this, this pillar of fire is in front of you and it's moving. You gotta follow it. And all of a sudden it, it makes a sharp left, so it's going downhill. It accelerates. What do you do? You follow it. Because following it, you can't get hurt. 
And it's actually fun. <laughs> it's just fun. To watch how God works things out. And how he does it. Well, Lord, what's the difference in our thoughts tonight? Yes. Well, here you go. As the heavens are higher than the earth. <laughs> that cuts the mustard. Right? He's saying, you can, the reason you have to trust me, the reason you have are as high as the heavens above the earth. Now, if you can feel that with reasons, good. But that's about how, how it is. So are my ways higher than your ways. Why then do you think you're going to ever guess which way I'm going? My whole mind runs in a pattern unlike yours, and it's my, my ways are just different than yours. I can explain to you. Go ahead. This time to go. I'm going to give you reasons to understand that when you sign up with me, you know, we don't think alike, we don't work together, we're not a team. You know, I'm one on one, I lead you, follow my ways are your ways, my thoughts are your thoughts, it's my way or no way, and that's how it is. Amen. Now, get all that together, you have one final solution, what is it? Rest! What else is it to do? What's it to worry about? When he said take no thought for tomorrow, he meant that literally. How many have done that in the same way? We still tripping tomorrow. Yes. So I'm, I'm just like I said, I'm just learning to rest in the last two weeks, you know, not just physical rest, but to rest in the fact that God said, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the part about it? Don't worry about any of it. <laughs> Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things. That's what we had on to. God's about a spiritual trip. That's what a blessing and prosperity message flies in the face of God because blessing and prosperity is for the earth here and now, and God's whole program starts off the earth. Right. There's nothing this earth can, can offer that should compare to God. They're offering property. They got all kinds of property sold on here and everything. Some of the property said, so I should come I was come by there. Got this great big sprawling backyard and everything, and just beautiful houses and so so forth. No, but we can't carry our property because the one we're following said, "In my house are many mansions." Oh, okay. I think I'll go over there. You like that? stuff on this earth that set my heart fire. Yeah. What kind of show he got? You <laughs> <laughs> got to come over here for them. <laughs> okay, so how do I get to know everybody? You see, my thoughts are your thoughts. Saying that you don't even have to think about it. He's telling you think about it is a waste of time. Why? Right, because you're following me and I'm God, and my thoughts aren't your thoughts. And what you worst can do is stress yourself out, have physical problems, so and so forth. Go through war you have to go through because yours is not going to fly. And it never does. Huh? Because we don't got to work with us. You guys are going to Come back and check me out later. We're not doing it. Or if the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts? And your thoughts. Now God knew they didn't understand that. So he breaks it down a little bit. For as the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not there. Now this is a process they call evaporation, which is water going back into a gas flowing back into heaven. Mm -hmm. And he said it doesn't return there. Mm -hmm. Well, think about it, if it all evaporated, there should be no rivers. <laughs> if all anything else, it's all returned there. Right. A bunch of stays here. But what about the earth? Some evaporates, but some waters the earth. Some goes into the earth, doesn't go back up. And make it rain forth and bud. Then may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. He says, once you follow me, then I control the rain in your life. 
I control when it comes down, and I have a purpose for it. The purpose for it is to give bread to the eater. It's all for you. I'm leaving your life now. I got you covered eating life. Because I can turn the rain. That makes the buds, that makes the fruit, that makes the seed, that makes you have bread. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. If I said, you know, don't worry about tomorrow. My word is going out of my mouth. It shall accomplish what I please. And those who will take my word, it will be accomplished in your life. And those who don't, you're on your own. But he wants you to have rest. I mean, I, nobody could have told me that God expects us to go through this whole life down here stress-free. Stress-free. And no matter what kind of storm you're in, he's got these spiritual stabilizers called peace and they just balance you. And you wonder how you got through it yourself. He doesn't bring confusion. A lot of times confusion comes in, but he makes peace out of confusion. That's why he says that the, the, the Lord will prepare me a table in the presence of my enemies. Think about that for a minute. Put that on for size. And the, and he, he's putting the spread on. The prepare table. With all the Kind of have three or four folks on this side and three or four spoons on this side and those on the use. Prepare a table. Where? Right in the war zone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so now I get back to everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough, man. Yeah. How can you do that? Trust him. So the whole trip with God starts and ends with faith, which is trust, and it means you let go. I might have trust in you. You are untrustworthy. <laughs> Paul said, we are those who take no confidence, put no confidence in the flesh. The flesh is real good for you. So back to back, so you turn around dead. <laughs> they missed it. All right. It's fun. So God said back there in the garden, in, 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 in uh, Noah's day, he said, no, seeing that he is also flesh. <laughs> God's to the conclusion like this, that he's fresh, and, you know, he's, he, he's fresh. And the best thing to do is destroy it. I'll bring a flood of them. Because you can't fix fresh. Not fixable. That's why God has to save us. When the Spirit gets, gets into us, the Spirit inside of us actually starts changing flesh. And that's the reason for the church I'm saying. You know, I, I thought I went to this level. At all, I thought it was just for church. <laughs> <laughs> so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall never turn to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Oh Lord, what about what I please? I've got nothing to do with it. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For we should walk with joy and be led forth with peace. What a statement. Yeah. Go out of joy and be left forth with peace. Yeah. When? Every single day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put them your privilege. <coughs> Let some things go. Put that weight down. Quit time look at your life and say, I, I deserve this. Mm -hmm. I didn't plan ahead. Mm -hmm. He don't come on that. He's not asking for a resume. So what, what, are you, what are you doing, Pastor? I'm like, I think I need you. He doesn't know anything about anybody. Jesus says, okay, everybody ready? Follow me. And it's just that simple. And that's what made God mad with these people and destroyed them in order us because they would not trust him enough to just follow him. To a place they knew nothing about unless he told them to them. He made it and they started working on the Canaan project when he when he talked to Abraham and about his seed. Who will come along in 400 years later. And then they're going to question the one to, to take to this place who promised it 450 years ago. What did you have to ask him? The fact he showed up in the fourth generation and we went out of Egypt richer than when we came in is proof that he's who he is. Let's just go for a ride now. 
Turn around. Turn around. Amen. Yes. I don't have that variety, man. Amen. <laughs> 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 <laughs>